my dear brother. Who's shaking? I can't remember. Brother. Who, brother? Who's oh, the dog. When Mike snores. Oh. We can cope with well, don't make the dog growl and don't snore on my tape. This is for my brother. About three and a half I was, and as happy as could be, when Mom and Dad had a surprise for me. The concept was strange. I didn't quite get it. A baby, they said? I couldn't quite credit. Way back then, you didn't know if pink or blue was the way to go, so Mom and Dad gave him the name of Katinka. Switching to Michael proved to me to be a pain. <laughs> I don't remember his babyhood days. The time passed so quickly I was in a day. We had a basement where we played and were mellow, and Michael, my brother, was a happy young fellow. My brother was bold. He wasn't shy. If he found an audience, oh, what a guy. Our mom, she did sing in the choir so sweet. We went to choir practice, played with friends. What a treat. Red light, green light was one of our favorite games. A long, dark church hallway. The game wasn't tame. Some inspired person did jump out and shriek. Scared my dear little brother. You should have heard him squeak. He was off like a rocket, blind fear in his eye. Right through the safety glass window. Oh, my. The game, it got quiet. My brother, I grabbed. Glass crunched underfoot. The whole gang was sad. The glass fell from Michael, his hair, and his clothes, but nary a scratch from his nose to his toes. The worst of this story was still yet to come. We had to confess to our choir singing moms. <laughs> One time I remember, Mom, she left us outside with such dire warning to behave and abide. Well, I was just perfect and never a bother, but there went my brother, a fountain to plunder. He walked around the edge. I said, don't, you're going to fall. <coughs> Did he listen to me? Not at all, not at all. The end of the story, you know, don't you see? He fell in the fish fountain, water lilies on his knees. The worst of this story was still yet to come when he had to expose his wet state to our mom. Oh, did he always find trouble? Oh, no, not he. He did go to school, and did he ever speak? Through reading, through math, he breezed through them all. My brother, you see, was the smartest of all. Let you think he was heartless and only just smart. The tale of our thumper I now will impart. A little wild bunny we kids did acquire. Please, can't we keep him? We desperately inquired. But no, we were heading to Florida for vacation. We'll find a nice field and let him go free to play with wild bunnies out under the trees. We drove quite some miles, our thumper we petted. Dad found a place even though we had fretted. Out we marched to the field, my brother and I. We set down our bunny and didn't quite cry. But wait, our thumper did not hop away. He hopped back to the bag. Gosh, he wanted to stay. We looked at each other, our feet in the bag. We popped him back in. There was no crying, Jag. Our faces were solemn as happy children can be. All done, asked our father. Oh, yes, we said gleefully. A few miles did pass before the mother antenna did rise up and question our giddy dementia. Finally, we fessed up and dear Thumper went free. Our parents now began studying our faces most carefully. St. Louis was such a swell place to grow up, but Dad's work took us to Texas, kids, bird, and the pups. We moved then to Beaumont, the great piney woods. No cactus, no sagebrush. Say, this was pretty good. Soon I was dating about this whole time. The highlight came early as I was inside. The doorbell had rang. My date had appeared. My brother had opened the door. Then I hear, that's your brother? That's your date? Then the story unfolds. My date was a lifeguard last summer, and yes, my dear brother swam there with all the other guests. It seems our dear Michael took frogs, don't you see, and threw them at girls, and met Kenny indeed. <laughs> but again, he had heart, and boy, does it show. When I ripped off the garage frame backing up, gosh, oh no. no. I knew I had had it. My freedom was gone. I was so upset, I backed up for our lawn. My brother was quiet, no chuckle or smirk. By the time I rushed back from my errand, it worked. Yes, the door, it was working, the molding back on. From that day forward, I knew it was clear. We took up for each other, and love was so dear. Dad's work called us again now to old Houston town, but I went to college in Austin. I wasn't around. Michael's prowess at learning was plain now to see. I oftentimes wished that I now were he. His high school career was a GPA delight. SATs were no trouble. He didn't stay up all night. He met Tad, John, and Ben, and the four musketeers found much to amuse them in their high school years. But that heart it was showing, that heart it was great. I came home from college and a thrill did await. 
He'd gone and bought tickets and took me to see singing give brothers known as the Bee Gees. No special occasion, he said, just because, but gosh, I remember it still gives me pause. His college career was frightening too. No grades were too good for our Michael to do. An Aggie, a Longhorn, in one family tree. It's a good thing he took me to see those Bee Gees. After college, we learned an adventurer loomed. Before working at Chevron, he took off to explore. Six weeks spent in Europe, such a lucky young man, then off to California, his rigs to expand. Sometime he decided the only way to get where he was headed was an MBA. He sold his speedy red Porsche in Chicago. Who need it? He bought my little white Toyota. Well, gosh, you would steal it. An MBA earned, his first job was in Houston. We'd really be near him, gosh darn it, no fooling. But wait, that looming adventurer bug took him off to Asia, his backpack to lug. But this uncle thing now, with Amanda and Chris, he never thought he would hear language like this. Don't eat dirt, don't pull tails, please don't jump on your brother. He learned yeah, quite Amanda. a lot from his sis, the young mother. He also would marvel when he opened the door to a fully stocked kitchen. He ran to the store. Time marches on, we were stuck on the shore. Michael took us all boating, and we didn't use oars. My children didn't mumble, belly ache and complain. It was hot, they were hungry, oh, they had a pain. My brother's face tightened, he thought what a treat. But a day on the lake with my kids wasn't sweet. The thing I have told him, the thing he must know, is the legend of Uncle Mike's boat trip did grow. Amanda and Chris just remember how sweet it was hanging on inner tubes, the water so neat. My children dearly love their uncle, it's plain, but confusion when he remained alone, it did pain. My son said he thought he'd never live and see the day when his uncle would settle down, marry, and stay. When Mary Ann's name in our conversation did slip, my children asked with such impatience and zip, well, when do we meet her? We can't wait and sit for the lady who made their dear uncle's heart flip. This spring she came calling at calling and my children did say, we like her, we like her, we hope that she stays. Now you know more than a little about my dear little brother and his one older sister who always has loved him. Uh, we're excited to be here and uh, meet Mary Ann's family during the wedding. Yada, yada, yada. That's it. Thanks. See you, sir. Bye. 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 Bye.